Hi! In this video, I will show you the SPO CRM tutorial and how to use it if you're actually a beginner. So if you're having problems with keeping track of your customer interactions and sale opportunities, then I should introduce SPO CRM to you. You can find them by going to espocrm.com and this particular software is actually a free and open source CRM platform designed for small and medium-sized businesses. So in this video, I'll walk you through the basics of Espo CRM and I'll show you how to set it up and use it to manage your customer relationships. So why am I gonna download or why am I gonna use it? So let's head over first to the features of Espo CRM in order to show you what are the pros of using this. So as you can see, Espo CRM can improve sales productivity. It has sales automation and then can help actually convert leads to opportunity account, contact, or buyers. So with this sales automation, they will generate you some opportunities, which are actually potential sales in CRM. So account is a central record in B2B model, and it can help convert the lead to that. And alternatively, the contact can be related to multiple accounts with a specific roles and relationship that is also from a lead as well. So here's an actual showcased of what it looks like right here. So Espo CRM also have a calendar that can help you with meetings, calls, and tasks. They have the working time calendar that can help you send invites and they can also track or sync the Google Calendar and Outlook and it can also share it if you would want. So here's a photo of what it will look like. You can see in here a timeline of this. We have potential partnership, product presentation, reply, as well as negotiation option. Now, they also have the emails right here that can make you email accounts, outbound emails. They can also show you some email templates, email folders, signature filters. They can also do mass email for cold calling or cold email, and they also have multiple email address per record. So here's what it looks like. We have a new discomposed email, and they have their own inbox, important sent, and the likes. And we have in here this options for the subject and the emails that you would want to incorporate. So they also have this social option. They can actually allow you to stream, wherein the feed where changes and updates the follow records are shown. We have in here this opportunity option. You can post on your stream as well, assign a con to this particular person. They also have the follow button wherein users can follow a particular record. So in here, the user can create those particular posts and assign a user to follow them automatically. So this is actually especially helpful if you're working with the team. So it's actually a pro on Espo CRM itself. They also have customer support for cases, email to case, customer folder, and knowledge base. They also have documents for document folder and attaching document files. They also have the potential for sales and purchases as they have products. You can add products to that particular Espo CRM. You can add codes, sales orders, invoices, delivery orders, return orders, purchase orders, receipt orders, as well as inventory management, as well as price books. So you can actually use all of these things right here. They also have telephony, which is VOIP integration and multiple phone numbers per record that can allow you to call people using the provided phone number that has been given through this integration. Now they also have the analytics wherein the reports will show depending on the gender information that you have spent on this particular application. They also have workflows on what the actions that can be triggered if specific conditions are met. So this will be actually helpful if you have a team depending on particular workflow in order to actually do something. They also have project management, which is really good if you're working with a team and it can help plan some tasks, assign, develop them, and then just do them seamlessly. They also have marketing automation and customization that we have in here for this. They have the sync targets, MailChimp, as well as a lot more options. They also have administration and miscellaneous like maps. 
and currency rates, UA themes, and the like. So as you can see, Espo CRM is free for both personal and commercial use. So if you would like to actually get it, what you can do is just head over and then click on this go to download CRM. First, if you would want, you can go over right here to this. So I can actually recommend to use the cloud option right here. You can click on the cloud option. And then on the this cloud option right here, you can see their prices. We have their basic enterprise and ultimate options. So for this cloud solutions, you can actually avail a free trial. Just choose one. For example, let's choose in here this basic option and click on the this free trial option. Once you have done that, just enter in here your email address as well as your first name, last name, company, phone number, number of users, server location, domain, and comments. So once you have filled up all of this, you can also add some extensions, like for example, the sales pack, the project management, Google integration, MailChimp, VOIP, and real estate, as well as demo data that has been added through this case. So just head over and input right here all of the information. And then from in there, you can scroll down and just answer the caption and click on sign up. So let's head over and see the actual server that I've already created with Espo CRM. So for this, just provide the username and password that you have actually filled up into this part right here. And then from in there, just head over and log in. So as of right now, this is what my Espo Cloud looks like. We have in here the homepage. And under the CRM account, we have in here the accounts option. If you would want, you can click on this create account option. In order to create an account, just enter in here the name the website, email, as well as other options, and fill up all of this information as well as type, industry, description, and also the assigned user. They can be an admin, moderator, or they can be part of your team if you would want. So under the contacts, you can add another contact right here. You can click on this create contact. Now this contact right here, you should be able to add the email and phone number. So for this one, you can actually use it in order to do cold emails or cold calling in order to generate some leads that you want. So under the leads right here, you can see in here all of the leads that has been added. So if you want, you can click on to this create. Then enter in here the information of the lead that you have gathered. So for example, let's put in here Mr. Harry Potter. So input right here the account name. I'll just input right here Harry Potter as well. And then enter their email, their phone number, their title, website, addresses, and some details. So for example, it can be a new, in process, recycled, or dead lead. So for example, let's put in process. And then for example, if it's a lead on call and put in here the opportunity amount. For example, let's put in here 49.99. And then input right here the campaign that you actually got this particular lead into. Enter in here the industry. And then after that, just head over and then click on save in order to add to this person to your particular lead. Now head over right here to the opportunities and you can create an opportunity if you would want. So do take note that if a lead is actually processed and it's actually a completed version, which means that it's not a lead anymore it's actually a customer already you can add them to the opportunity section click on this create opportunity and then add that particular person let's add harry potter then select the account where it's gonna come from then add in here the stage you're proposing so for example let's put in here a closed one and then input right here the amount and then input the close date and the likes and click on save so from in there, you should be able to input right here the options for those already, and it should be added in here. Now under the activities, we have the emails that you have already sent, the emails you will receive. If you want to compose, you can click on the compose option right here. And then in here, you just input the two options, the parents, the bodies, the CC and BC if you would want. And you can also schedule send it if you're planning to do a mass email that you want. Now, under the meetings, you can see in here all the meetings that you have available. You can click on the create meeting. And then just create a meeting that you would want. Same thing happens to calls. Just input right here, create a call and, and enter any contact that you want to call. 
And under the task right here, you should be able to see your task management or your project management added. You can click on this create task and create a task that you would want. As you can see, task has been created. Now under this calendar, you can see in here all of the things that has been inputted for a particular date or time depending on what you have added. So it will appear all on this calendar right here. So we also have in here the support for the cases as well as knowledge bases if you're actually lost. But I believe we have covered everything into this video. So I hope this video helped you out a lot onto the SPO CRM tutorial and I hope to see you on the next one.